I had a great night's sleep last night. Yesterday was my fast. Today I am heading off to Canada with my friend Adam to visit Maggie, the 82-year-old carnivore, and I just made myself. This is a this is a real man's breakfast. This is what you eat after you fast for five days straight and only have water. We've got ribeye, a little bit of bacon, and some over easy eggs. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh how I have missed thee. Oh look at that. Where's my salt? Would you look? Look at that. Focus, get my face up. First piece of steak I've eaten in five days. I, I, I overcooked my first set of eggs. I saved those for later for lunch. Steak. Bacon. Nice runny egg. Oh yeah, I did it right. Dip the egg in the yolk. Every bite, every single bite is a celebration. Wait, Katie, flip it for the camera. Go Katie ahead, camera. can do it. I'm going to slice my By hand. By the time I come back. Not so easy, is it? <laughs> you want me to demonstrate? <laughs> yeah, what you just said. Why? <laughs> if you do this to me, I'll kick you so hard. You're supposed to come with me. Sick, okay. You won't fly. I don't have a passport. Oh, Bachelor, good to have. No, he's gonna start. I bet I could do that. <laughs> stop, extra stop, extra stop. <laughs> Call me when you leave. Ray, you gonna miss me? It's time to go to Canada. Let's go. Make sure they you feed you plenty of you move, plenty of meat. Yeah. You eat meat when I'm gone. Meat. <laughs> go give him one then. You walk me out to the car, like a gentleman. They toilet paper or car? No, she ran into the toilet paper that was hanging down. Oh, the toilet paper that people put on our house. Here we go. I'm leaving the house. I'm leaving the homestead. There's Baxter and Ray. Just said bye to Jen and the girls. And I'm heading to Canada by myself. Well, I'm heading to Chicago. And then I'm traveling with my good friend Adam. Uh, we're going to visit Maggie on her ranch. Uh, a little getaway for me and Adam, kind of like city slickers. We're going to work on her ranch. We're gonna eat a whole bunch of meat, and we're gonna film her story. I'm uh, gonna do some YouTube videos along the way, so I'm really looking forward to it. God doesn't want you to wait for miracles. You have to take matters into your own hands. I am at the airport. Adam just texted me and said where he's parking, so I'm trying to find a spot where he parked that way I won't forget like last time I foolishly completely forgot where I parked last time. Uh, the other thing that's interesting is this is the same lot I parked in last time. And last time I had a really cool conversation with the shuttle driver uh, about carnivore diet. Everyone got a big kick out of that. Wouldn't that be amazing? What are the odds? As my, as my friend Bill says, that would be Providence if, uh, if that shuttle driver picked me up again and I got my shirt on. I eat only meat, ask me why. So. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic. I am here. I just parked. All right. What well, you want to meet at the little, uh, the little shuttle pickup area? I need to set this up on a tripod quick. Right, the man. man. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh you. my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. This is. Absolutely. I gotta get you on the Netflix camera. I got it dialed in finally. <laughs> Over the hood.
I'm rolling anyways. Sorry we're so late. Don't worry okay. about it. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Glad you made it. Yes, good oh. to see you. Good to see you. You too. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, 